Hey guys, Chad with Pure Media Systems. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are out in Grapevine, Texas. We're going to be doing uh, several uh, things here today. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to be installing a Sunbright Signature Series TV on uh, their patio out here. Uh, it's going to go right up here. You can see all the cables here. We're going to put a brush plate in uh, so that all the cables, there's not just a hole in the wall through the cedar wall here. Uh, as you can see down here, we've got the 43 inch Sunbright Signature Series TV, which is made for partial sun. Uh, it's going to have mostly uh, covered here. Um, you can see there's a pretty big uh, covering there, and they're going to eventually put in a uh, pergola above this. Um, we've got the, as you can see right here, uh, the uh, cover for the TV. Uh, we include uh, covers for all of our uh, Sunbright TVs here. We've got an articulating mount. This is the Sunbright uh, large uh, dual arm articulating mount. And then right here we have uh, the smaller Sunbright all-weather soundbar. The Singer Series do not include a uh, speaker built into it, but it does have a little 20 watt amplifier for the uh, soundbar. So we're going to uh, set everything up and uh, show you that process. Thanks, guys. All right, so we've created a, a base here. There's a, a piece of cardboard underneath this as well. We put the box back together to uh, support the TV, which it does a very good job at. This TV is not all that heavy. Uh, it's only the 43 inch TV here. So you can see we've got the weather, uh, the power cable that is sealed in here. Um, we've got the vase, uh, the bolts for um, mounting the TV. It, here is the door. Uh, let me zoom out here. So this is the media bay. Um, the, there are three screws here that tighten down and you can see here there's a pass through uh, with foam so that it, when you pass a cable through it will actually seal here uh, so that nothing comes through as you can see in this diagram right here. Inside the media bay we have all of the inputs, zoom in here. Uh, this is speaker output for the sound bar. Uh, infrared, this is an eye as well as just a, a receiver, RS-232, uh, RJ45 or Ethernet control, um, so we can actually um, do media or um, IP control with this TV through Control 4 along, uh, there's drivers for most of the uh, automation systems out there. Of course, uh, two HDMI inputs, one with ARC, um, and then we have the uh, USB power here. VGA input even, as well as PC audio, AV input. Uh, we have all the analog inputs in here, as well as uh, op optical out. Uh, you can even plug in a uh, TV, uh, over-the-air TV tuner here. And this TV actually includes HD base T. So this is there, you, all you need is a transmitter, and uh, there's the receivers already built into this TV here. So uh, this is actually big enough for us to be able to include, zoom out, uh, we can put a Roku uh, Ultra right in here and actually uh, be able to uh, put it in the weather compartment here. So uh, they'll be fully sealed up in here uh, for that as well. We're going to be attaching the sound bar next. So you can see these screws here. Uh, they're going to come out and we can attach the sound bar. So we'll go ahead and get that going. All right, guys, so we've got the SB-SP-472-BL. See, it's a 20-watt uh, soundbar that is black. Uh, this is what it looks like here. Let's set it down on top. So you can see it's a stereo soundbar. You've got the mid-range woofer and the tweeter on either side. Uh, it does come with the mounting bracket already attached and uh, an adapter. So this... Um, and unplug here. You can see it actually goes to a three and a half millimeter plug there, but this can unplug here and plug right into the audio output from the soundbar of the TV. And the back of it, you can see here, it's just a we've got a what well, it's sealed right there uh, going into the soundbar, so there's no um, exposed connections on the soundbar or the TV itself. So we're going to go ahead and attach that in right now. All right, so we've got the Soundbar attached here. See the screws were already in the TV, which is really nice. It's really easy to attach this and get going. And then we just feed it right up into the media bay. We've got it plugged in right here. And that's it for the soundbar. Next, we're going to go ahead and get the bracket attached. All right, guess so I got you zoomed out here. We're going to be finished tidying all these cables up here. We're just showing you. Uh, we've got, I've got an Apple TV 4K, the new one. Uh, it actually fits inside of the compartment here very well, so there's enough room actually for potentially a direct TV box or 
uh, files box or things like that that will fit in here. Uh, we've got an Ethernet coax as well as um, cable for IR here that's pre-wired. Uh, depends if they want to add anything like that here. This TV actually has, I said, the HD base T receiver uh, built into it. Um, and can actually be IP controlled. So we could put a uh, switch out here, you know, let's say a PoE powered switch and uh, plug in all these devices. They're all, all hardwired, uh, which is something that's in the plans for the future for this particular customer. Uh, but this is just so they can get by for right now. So we're gonna finish uh, tidying everything up here and uh, get on our way and, and uh, test everything. All right, guys, so we've got the Sunbright Signature Series 43 inch TV with the uh, compact soundbar from Sunbright as well attached to the TV. So um, this is a 4K HDR TV and we have a 4K Apple TV connected to it. So we've actually programmed the Apple TV remote to control the volume of the TV through infrared as well. Um, you can with uh, Roku remotes or Fire TV remotes, you can program those to control the, uh, the power and everything through IR with this. Uh, you can also seamlessly integrate with Control 4, Alon, and all the other automation services out there. So again, this is on a, an articulating mount. So this can come in and out, as you can see here, and we can get it all the way fully up against the wall. So the customer is going to have a full uh, kitchen here, outdoor kitchen with a sink, which is uh, why he got the smaller TV here. He wanted the 55, but this is the 43, fits perfectly um, up here and doesn't take up too much space because uh, the counter is going to come up right up to about there. All right, and as uh, like I've shown, uh, mentioned before, uh, we always do include the uh, dust cover for the Sunbright TV because it does... Uh, protect against the elements while these TVs are fully weatherproofed and weather resistant uh, for the rain and the other elements it's always good to just you know, the better you take care of the products the longer they'll last in general you don't have to worry about dust and dirt and other grime getting uh, just falling onto the TV here so this is made for the veranda and signature series 43 inch TVs it even covers as we can see here it even covers a sound bar up underneath here so <clears throat> I'll pull this back around here and it does fully go around. It's made for all of their mounts, um, whether you've got the um, standard tilt mount or the articulate mount that we have here. You can see it does just perfectly cover this. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Again, we are Pure Media Systems. We are authorized dealer for Sunbright TV um, and all the products that you see here. Uh, if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, we can come out and design a system for you and find the proper uh, equipment to use in the application that you want to meet within your budgets as well. So again, uh, please contact us at 972-905-0556 or email sales at puremediasystems.com. I'll have that down below in the description. Um, check out some of our other videos. Uh, we have several videos with Sunbright TV featuring clip speakers, uh, all-weather all speakers, landscape speakers, um, automation for outside with... Uh, Control 4, a lawn, as well as just basic uh, whole home audio with Sonos. So we are authorized users for all these products. Again, give us a big thumbs up, help support our channel, and hit that bell icon to get notified of future videos. Thanks, guys.